ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Monday Morning Show. And my today's guest is Elon Musk. Come along. Woo! As always, today we're gonna. Uh, as always, our interview will be uh, very chaotic. So I think that all of our listeners and viewers will be satisfied. So uh, first of all, Elon, could you tell us how much we work because? That's not a secret for anybody that if you want to make something huge, you you need to like work a lot. So could you tell us how much you work and tell us how does it affect your family and your friends? Mm-hmm. Weekly is uh, about eighty to one hundred hours. Ooh, that's a lot. Uh, yes, I know it's a lot. Uh, I sleep something about six hours. So, um, but. Uh, Sometimes uh, there are days that I stay in factory and I don't sleep. Uh, so um, I'm pretty sure that uh, this situation will happen in the future. Um, it has giant effects on my friends and my family. Uh, that has really much. Uh, do you friend that the from a personal point of view, the worst is yet to come, or has it just happened? I think the worst is yet to come. Okay. So another hot topic around the world right now is SpaceX being sued by Jeff Bezos and his origin, uh, caused by the SpaceX winning the NASA competition for the lunar landing module. So could you tell us uh, how you look at those things, and do you think that it should be actually some mm, some joke from Jeff Bezos' side because that that can be actually like existing. Don't you think that's stupid? Stupid by Jeff who? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, I'm not exactly sure why SpaceX uh, stood for fair play winning in NASA competition. Uh, I don't think there's much to talk about. Uh, we won in NASA and we'll uh, win in the court. It, uh, we need it. Our system has just turned uh, out to be better, and Blue Origin system doesn't even exist. Uh, and ours is being tested right now. I think it's pretty logic uh, that uh, we want, and NASA doesn't want uh, to take Matrix risk. Yes, yes. NASA is uh, the company that really don't like to take risks, especially when it comes to the SLS missions. So another hot topic around the world is right now China government is banning cryptocurrencies. Uh, as far as we know, they don't have much to do with the cryptocurrencies, and they shouldn't actually make it. But we know it's, it's China. Could you tell us how how you look at it? Uh, maybe you have some guesses why why this is happening. Uh, so as far as I know, I, as I know. Uh, there are problems uh, with uh, energy supply in China uh, due to a lot of giant mines that requires a lot of energy. Another problem is that uh, cryptocurrencies give people much freedom because, uh, uh, you know, government in China doesn't like when people have much freedom. Yeah. <laughs> That's actually kind of obvious. And they just can't really monitor them. You know, that's true. <laughs> that's like the currency. Uh, yeah, I think that's the main problem. Uh, yeah, but well, you know, you're the person that can you know, like control cryptocurrencies even more than any any other government could do. This, like, you say something and the Bitcoin is up. You say something and the Bitcoin comes down. <laughs> do you think that's actually good? If the crypto is growing, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Elon, uh, there's really much to talk about, but right now I want to ask you about your death. So, you said that you want to die on Mars. Do you still want to die on Mars? And how, sh- how should it look like? Like you're flying to Mars and like die in some rocket crash? Or, or do you want to just die on Mars like from the natural? Mm. Yes, I still want to die on Mars. Uh, I didn't mean to die in a rocket crash or something like that. Uh, I meant, you know, to burn on Earth and 
die on Mars. Isn't it cool? I think so, that's, that's kind of cool, but don't you think that your life will be shortened when you go to Mars? Like, there's a lot of radiation and the gravity, and you'll be kind of shorter due to the gravity, isn't it? So I wouldn't be worried about the radiation uh, so much to stop it uh, on the thicker, uh, only the thicker ceiling is needed, uh, and due to the gravity, we would be actually higher. <laughs> That's something great from the ocean, actually, go to Mars, I think. <laughs> <coughs> so, as our chaotic interview is going, uh, there's the next question. So maybe we'll talk about Tesla right now. So, could you tell us what's your favorite model of the Tesla? And the question couldn't be that easy, so hold on. <laughs> uh, the other thing is that a lot of people uh, survive your Tesla cars. Are you satisfied with uh, the Tesla condition? And other thing, like uh, when you buy Tesla, there's um, much said about uh, things that shouldn't happen. Like, for example, the back bumper of the Tesla Model X just falls down with no reason, actually, and the other word things start to happen. Imagine that there exists electric uh, soup. Mm -hmm. it's, it's Tesla Model X. And yeah, I think it's my favorite car. And Answer to your first question. And something about the bumpers. Uh, we have uh, too many orders, and our team doesn't really have uh, time to uh, make the quality better. And yes, mm, our team uh, cannot cope uh, with quality control tests at all. So, don't you think that's not right when you're saying the cars that weren't even tested and the order should be delayed, but still the cars that are like delivered should be great in all of the things? Because all of the orders that has happened like wouldn't <coughs> stop existing. Uh, you have to know that Tesla is mm, the biggest uh, car brand in the world, so I don't think that um, this is the biggest problem. Ah, that's it. Okay, I point answers. Okay, uh, the other thing, if we are in the weird things that are happening in your companies, is that you've made your flame for them by the foreign company. It was very famous, but don't you think that's not okay to sell those things, especially if some freak buys it and he, he wants to make somebody injured or something? Firstly, uh, I told them not to buy them. <laughs> <laughs> I told them not to And secondly, uh, it's much easier to build a flamethrower flame for your own. You can just buy more effective oil uh, and lighter. So if some freaks want to do bad things, uh, they would do it without spending too much money for my flamethrower. How is it even turning your head like, who said to you like, Hey Elon, let's make some French rolls and then sell it. Mm. It was my plan. <laughs> I've heard that it's it comes from a, some joke on the on the, some party, but that's only a rumor. So you can like say they are right or they are not. But, you know. Yeah, it was mm, joke, but you know, it's not illegal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you made it up because. Make a flamethrower in USA is not illegal. Yes. Okay. Exactly. Sadly, our time has come. Thank you all for coming today. It was Monday Morning Show. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.